seven trumpets prepper. Guys, if you didn't see the other video I done before this one today um, about the vaccine and some thoughts that has just been collectively on my mind for a while since that I've not been with you on the channel, please watch that video. Links in the video description below. Um, I wanted to keep this separate because <clears throat> if you didn't see the other video, well, I took some time away and I just went to the beach and set up on the beach for a while. Uh, cleared my head after construction because many of you don't know, I, I'm, I'm a contractor. I do off-grid construction and you want to check us out, offgridcontracting.com. But, you know, like I travel all the time. Okay. And, uh, and Father, please forgive me for sharing that on Sabbath too, but don't, don't look at that construction thing today. Okay, guys. But, um, you know, I travel all the time. And so I decided in between that just take some time away. And so that's why you haven't seen me up on YouTube because I've been setting up on seashore. And I've been seeing so much stuff in the past weeks and, and months, um, not only on the vaccine thing, which I just made a video about, but the other thing is this cancel culture. Now, I've noticed since Creepy Joe went into office that uh, it has been the floodgates open to absolute insanity. And the craziest one of them all, I have to say, maybe takes top tier even over the vaccine craziness, is the cancel culture thing. Now, I'm going to say things today, and I'm going to try to be very calm as I was in the other video, because some people say I get very animated and upset and in my feels or blah, blah, blah. I just want to point out the obvious, um, and I hope that I'm not the only one that views it this way, and not that it matters if you agree or disagree or not. I say this as a warning to people. You know, I've always done content on here, either educational, you know, like I just showed people how to set up Bitcoin mining operations so you could get out of the system. I've showed you a foreign exchange things so you could get out of the system. And I also do videos warning people, so I've always tried to educate and warn. That's what this channel has been about. And... I'm warning you today that content like I do here, okay, it's not, you're not always going to be able to find Seven Trumps Prepper on YouTube probably later down the road. Uh, this cancel culture thing's getting just insane, folks, from Sesame Street to cartoons to, I mean, you know what's bad? What's really bad is somebody pointed this out is the stuff that some of these cartoons and uh, uh, characters are getting uh, banned for, for sniffing and kissing and touching inappropriately. Our president <laughs> needs to be canceled currently because he's doing the same thing uh, and has done the same thing and been on video for it. And I, uh, somebody pointed out, it's like, why ain't we cancel the president? But anyway. So anyways, I was down in Target um, in St. Augustine um, and there was this child and she was walking with her father and she was looking at this uh, rainbow thing or something. And she's like, I like it, but I can't get that because if I wear that, they'll think I'm gay. And her dad's like, honey, this is America. You can be whatever you want, do whatever you want. But she's like, nah, I'm not gonna wear that. And I felt so sad for that child because I heard this conversation with my wife, so I'm walking by and I'm like, no, it's so sad. That child gets it. That child gets it because they want to just be their self. They want to just enjoy the life that was created. I mean, the rainbow is a sign of, you know, no more flood, not of homosexuality. But um, because of, of what's went on, you know, she can't even enjoy that and, and, and how that the world is now. And she, as a young individual, can see clearly. You know, the, the stuff that the adults will sugarcoat and everything, that child was just straight up about it right there. And, you know... You, right now, with all this going on, people have got to focus hard on getting prepared, getting out of the system, um, doing anything you can to insulate yourself. Uh, I mean, there's nothing going to stop the SWAT team from kicking in my door in the middle of the night and hauling me off to a jail cell if they wanted to. You know, we, we are living in the new America, you know, uh, the Fourth Reich. Uh, but... Um, the more you look at the situation, the one that got me the most here lately was the Be Less White by Coca-Cola. Um, I was having a conversation with some Hebrew Israelites and, um, you know, because I know a lot of people uh, of all walks in life, all around this world, you know, uh, and people, it's close friends. I mean, like shake their hand, give them a hug, talk to them in person, you know? And <laughs> I was having this conversation. I was like, can you imagine if they Coca-Cola had done a thing that said be less black, be less Latino, I mean be less Oriental, 
I, and and I listen. I'm not trying to be like I'm victim or I don't give a flip what you think about me. If I was white or if I am white, I don't care if you don't like me because I'm a white person. If I was black, I don't give a flip if you don't like me because I'm black. If I was Latino, I don't give a flip if you don't like me if I'm Latino. I am who y'all made me, and you can eat it, baby, um, because I'm gonna serve him regardless. All right. Um, <laughs> you know this this racism thing. It's gotten insane in the, in America. And the world is laughing at us. Like, I literally watched Sky News. I think it was in Australia. Uh, uh, you know, you watch, like, Russia Today, RT Today. Um, you, you watch uh, any of these other uh, news media places from around the world, and they are literally mocking us. They're mocking our president. They're mocking, I mean, like, the dude just, like, uh, went into error mode the other day trying to even talk. Like, he ain't even had a one-on-one -on -one press conference yet with people uh, I think we're 40 something days in now and he ain't even had a press conference. I mean, but like this, this is supposed to be our, our president, our sovereign, right? I mean, he ain't my sovereign. I didn't vote for him. I didn't vote for him. I didn't vote for Trump either. So anyway, uh, you know, I go back on that, that, that whole, uh, be less white thing like that one, I think above all stuck out to me. And it's not cause I'm white and it triggered me. Uh, cause I ain't gonna lie. It did trigger for me for just a minute, just a minute. But I got to thinking about it because I always, always have to consider up on stuff. I, I, it's the obsessive compulsive in me. And I looked at that and I was just like, you know, I was like, this, this is, uh, this is going to be the new normal. You know, I, I, I didn't ever want to accept that this is, uh, you know, the new normal they kept talking about. But I'm like, this is, this is the new normal. You know, this is going to be where I'm walking around with hybridized human beings that have taken this vaccine that in a matter of a year or two, who knows, I'm going to be walking next to a zombie. Uh, I'm watching cartoons that I've enjoyed from the time I was a child now being destroyed and took off the show. And I'm being told to be less white. Like, how the flip do you stop being less white? Like, like, how do you be less black? How do you be less Latino? Like, I, I'm just, seriously, please, somebody... Educate me. I'm trying not to get animated, David. Somebody tell me how to stop being less white, please. Oh my gosh, teach me. Give me wisdom, that which I seek. <laughs> These people have lost their mind. Oh my gosh. And it's only going to get worse from here. Like, that's why, guys, like when I got done with the construction, I just went set up on the seashore. Listen, I love each and every one of you people that come over this YouTube channel. Uh, even if you're a, even if you're a hater in a tool bag, I still want to see you saved. Uh, but, you know, like you notice that I have eased off the clutch a lot on making content on YouTube anymore. And please don't take offense to it because it's like with Facebook, uh, everything I've dropped off. I have literally dropped off the face of the earth almost. And I have to say, it is addicting. Like, I have been so busy doing this foreign exchange, mining uh, cryptocurrency, starting to mine Zcash. I've been sneaking out, doing customers' jobs, and then, like, going on a hike or going golfing or going to the beach or spending time with my mom. And I've spent so much time with my dad since he's retired. Like, I'm just having the best time ever in life. And it's gotten addicting. And although that's great, at the same time, I've sat back and I've been watching the world unravel at the seams. And you got two options in front of you it's right now. It, it really is this simple anymore, is you can continue to be a part of this society, which is losing its mind, or you can start to exit and spend quality time with those that love y'all and that love you and that mean something to you, because this world just really does not have much value anymore. Um, and this cancel culture will continue to get worse. You're going to see, if you think this is... Folks, please understand, we are only like, I think, 50 days into this presidency. This country is going to transform in ways you have never understood or could even begin to fathom. And please note that this room that you see me sitting in enjoying right now is a film studio. In the other corner over there, I was sitting on, uh, whenever I was remodeling this room in this house that I live in now and painting back uh, when the election was going on. And I told you that if that after this election, things would never be the same again. And by goodness, I will take my little notch in the bell that I told you so, sucker. And it has not been the same, and it will never be the same again. It'll never be the same again. Like the, 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 the 1980s, wake up on the weekend morning and watch G.I. Joe and 
and, and ducktails and go out and play baseball or ride my bicycle with the kids in the town. Um, go hiking, fishing, hunting, whatever, you know, uh, not a care in the world, hardly any crime. People acted like a human being. You weren't being forced to take something that's going to completely change your DNA. I mean, like, no, no, no. That world's gone. Gone, baby. And it's not coming back. Uh, I just hope the new kingdom is far more than I could ever dream it could be, and I hope I make it. But I'm going to tell you folks, like, you, you've got to insulate yourself in somehow. Now, the way I've learned to deal with it, this last thing I'll say, the way I've learned to deal with it is I spend a lot more time with my family now. I don't get up on here on social media much. Um, I still stay on here because I know people really do want to learn things, want to learn the word, want to learn prepping, and, and I'm trying to stick with it. Uh, but like literally, uh, you, you, if you can exit society, if you can get up out of your workplace, you can start working for yourself, you can start doing passive income at home and I mean, you just need to do everything you can to get out of the cities and away from everyone because this is the this is going to get worse from here. I mean, this is only the beginning, only the beginning. Like, I, if this was the beginning and this was the end, we are all the way back, like, like that little tiny fine line between there. Okay, uh, scratch that one down next. That I told you so. So that about two, three years from now, whenever we are living in like a freak show i can be like so guys as always to see you again here at seven trumps pepper channel uh check out some content this month because i'm gonna be home for a month i'm gonna be smashing out videos um and then i'm gonna be back out, back out and doing construction again uh y'all willing so anyways as always to see you again here at channel hope most of y'all broke and keep you make this face shine and I'm show you favor and keep you shalom my friends and y'all peace you out